Welcome to Introduction to E-Commerce. Uh, this is a chapter 4. It's about e-commerce security and payment system. So uh, this is the objective that uh, we are going to learn. The first is understand the scope of e-commerce crime and security problem, the key dimension of e-commerce security and the tension between security and other spending. Second, to identify the key security trick in e-commerce environment. Uh, the third objective is describe how technology helps secure internet communication channels and protects network, client and servers. And uh, lastly is identify major e-commerce payment system in use today. So e-commerce uh, security environment. So overall size and loss of the cyber crime is unclear. So uh, according to 2000, 15 survey average annual life cost of cybercrime was 15 million per year. So uh, it's about underground economics marketplace. Normally, write the information stolen and a malware store on underground economics uh, server. So uh, what is good e-commerce security? First, uh, to achieve highest degree of security by new technologies, organizations policy and procedures and industry standard and government law. Besides that, uh, other factors also uh, help uh, to improve the e-commerce security, for example, time value of money, cost of security versus potential loss. Security often breaks at a weakness link. So uh, we can see that uh, this is a item, the e-commerce security environment. So data as a center crawl and then it's uh, being a uh, I mean, uh, circulate by the technology solutions, followed by the organization's policy and uh, procedures, and lastly, it's the uh, like government's law and industry standard. So, uh, customer and merchants' perspective on the different dimension of e-commerce security. So, from customer point of view, uh, from the integrity. So, has the information transmitted or? received been altered which means it's a the data information right is that a uh, change by somebody so on the merchant side uh they was thinking has data on the site been altered with the authorization is being received by the customer valid so uh non reputations can uh, from customer point of view right so they say that can a party do an action with me later deny taking the action so from merchant side can the customer deny order products so uh, from the next element right yes uh, it's authenticity who am I deal with how can I be assured that the person or entity is who they claim to be so from merchant side of view what is the real identity of customer Com so from the next element Confidential. Can somebody other than the intent recipient read my message? So from merchant side point of view, say that our message or confidential data access to anyone or the than those authorized to view them. Privacy. Can I control use of information about myself transmitted to an e-commerce merchant? Then uh, from merchant side, say that what use? It any can be made of personal data collected as part of e-commerce transaction is the personal information customer being used in an unauthorized manner. Availability can I get access to the site? Is the site being operated? So this is the few question is being asked uh, while they are considered about uh, the e-commerce uh, dimensions perspective. So, the tension between security and other value, for example, ease of use. The more security measure added, the more difficulty a site is to use, and the slower it becomes. So, the second uh, factors might be public safety and crime use of the internet, use of internet by crime, the planned crime, or threatens national status. So, uh, what are these uh, in the e-commerce environment? 
there are three key points of vulnerability in e-commerce environment. First one is the client, second server, and the third one is the communications medium, for example, communications pipeline, internet communications channels. So, uh, so it, this is a typical way of e-commerce transaction through a credit card. First of all, right, uh, the online consumer, right, at the bottom, bottom left. So they will send the request through the server. After that, they will check online uh, store, and then uh, then online store right from the merchant website. They will communicate with the data data server, data servers uh, for validation purposes. Once it's being verified, right, the information will be uploaded to the customer credit card bank and uh, to merchant banks. Once it is verified and valid. Then uh, they will send the signals back to the server, and the server will uh, issues uh, issue and orders to the warehouse and release uh, the item. And finally, the item will be delivery according to the client shipping address. So, uh, what about the vulnerable point in e-commerce transactions? Assume right now, user. It connects internet through wireless medium, and uh, the Wi-Fi signal signal is being tapped by an authorized party. After that, they can perform uh, perform uh, decodings on the message. After that, they will try to forgery, forgery, or by others uh, by others uh, hacking techniques, and then uh, finally. Uh, Finally, um, there are some security measurements that will be conducted by the, I mean, uh, the banker side or the merchant side. So once it's being verified, the item uh, is valid and uh, from a true customer, then they will send, they will send uh, the item to respective customer. If the information is false, it's not true, then. Um, most probably the orders will be rejected. So, what uh, what about the most common security threats in the e-commerce environment? For example, they can using malicious code, malware, exploit and exploit key, mal, mal, mal advertisement, advertising, perform certain advertisement, and then drive by download, virus, uh, worm, ransomware, frozen horse, back doors and bots and botnets to attack uh, the e-commerce security. So uh, the second technique is a potential unwanted program. For example, they have certain software that might be installed in our web browser. For example, browser parasite, adware and spyware. Mm, besides uh, non-technical uh, attacks, right, it looks like can be go through by Phishing techniques, for example, they will call social engineers to converse. I mean, uh, try to forge the item or conversate uh, with the people. After that, uh, steal uh, some of the important identity, and then uh, of course uh, they will go through by emails, scam, uh, spear, phishing, and identity fraud and theft to get the important and uh, privacy uh, information, private and confidential in confidential informations. So uh, besides that they also have have a certain uh, hacking uh, techniques uh, to intrude to the e-commerce system for example they have hacker versus cracker and they have hackers can be categorized in a white hacker, black hacker and grey hack hacks and then uh, normally activities is uh, called activism and then cyber vandalism for example distracting Debasing destroy a website and uh, the next technique is the data breaching loss losing control corporate information to outsider. Mm, there are also certain activities that might be performed uh, by hackers as well. For example, credit card fraud, uh, identity fraud, and dating spoofing, and uh, farming spam spam junk website. Uh, they provide links, uh, lots of link farm and then stifling men in middle attacks. Uh, 
Daniel, Daniel of a service DOS attack distributed Daniel of service attack insider attack poor design software social network security issue mobile platform security issue phishing smishing uh, malware cloud uh, security issue in the next of thing issues so from the technology so all those there are lots of hacking technique uh, might be applied by hackers we also have certain solutions uh, to counter back the design flaw of the techniques for example we by using a technology solution we can using a uh, protects internet communication for example we can using a cryptography to create a cipher text so that uh, the important element data might not be easy dec uh, decrypted and read by others second we have securing channels of uh, communication for example we have ssl tls vpn uh, virtual private networks and wi-fi networks uh, secure wi-fi networks as well and uh, besides that we also can have some physical hardware to protect for example we can using a firewall proxies server ids ips and uh, of course uh, from a software perspective of view right we can protect the server and the client for example we have a uh, os operating system security and the antivirus software so this is a few tools uh, used to uh, protect uh, from being hacking so uh, there are also certain tools to achieve a uh, site uh, security for example as uh, i mentioned earlier right, they started from encryption network security protocol vpn virtual private networks firewall proxy server ids uh, intro intrusions detections prevention automated software update antivirus software access control authentications procedures so uh, maybe we have a look on encryption what is encryption encryption is transfer our data into cipher text readable only by sender and receiver uh, is secure store information and information transmitted so it's being provided for of six key dimension of uh, e-commerce security so uh, what are there first thing is uh, message integrity no repudiations authentications and confidentials so uh, this is the first technique symmetric key cryptography so there are two parties involved sender and receiver use the same digital key to encryption and decrypt the message it's required different set of key for each transaction and then uh, the strength of the encryption the length of binary key used to encrypt data and then uh, they have uh, we have data encryption standard and a triple ds encryption algorithm and uh, we also have advanced encryption standard mostly watch use symmetric algorithm use 128-192- and 256 dash encryption key other standard use key up to 2048 bits the second encryption technique is called public key cryptography used to mathematically related digital keys public key uh, widely disseminate private key keep secret by owners both key used to encrypt and decrypt message one key used to encrypt message same key cannot be used to decrypt message sender use recipient's public key to encrypt message recipient use private key to decrypt it so <clears throat> so our uh, this is a diagram illustrated a uh, house public key uh, cryptography so for example sender uh, send a message original message by xyz alias for a hundred dollars then uh, recipient key recipients public key so the message is being encrypted in the cipher text and then send through the internet then the step number five is uh, recipient uh, private key after that decode the message then by xyz alias a uh, hundred dollars and uh, to the recipient 
So publicly, cryptography use digital signatures and hash uh, digest. So sender apply a mathematic algorithm hash function to a message and then encrypt the message and hash result with recipient's public key. Sender then encrypt the message and hash result with sender's private key, creating digital signatures for authenticity non repudiations and uh, lastly, recipient first use uh, sender's private key to authenticate message and then the recipient private key to decrypt the hash message, hash result and message. So the diagram illustrated uh, the message uh, with using digital signatures, public key cryptography with digital signatures. So the original message by XYZ alias $52. After that hash function, then they'll convert into the binary key. Then uh, create the uh, recipient's public key, sender private key as well. Then uh, message sent through the internet. Then sender public key is generated. Number seven, recipient's private key. After that, uh, <coughs> go to hash function. I mean, uh, change the binary code to something readable uh, text. And finally, receiver receive the message say by X Y Z at fifty two dollar. So, uh, there are also some limitations uh, to the encryption solution. So, uh, it doesn't protect storage of the private keyword. Private key PKI not effective against insider employee. Protects of private key by individual may be ha hazard. No guarantee that verified computer of merchant is secure. CA are unregulated self selecting organizations so uh, the next maybe we can enhance the securing channels of communication so uh, in order to enhance it right so there are few techniques uh, we can go through the first thing is secure socket layer SSL or transport layer security TRS is established secure negotiated client server section or maybe <coughs> User can apply the other techniques. They are called virtual private networks. It's only allowed remote user to securely access internal network via the internet. And the next might be wireless uh, network through WPA2 uh, hash method. So this is a secure negotiated section using SSL slash TLS. So the client mm. browser or maybe from the PC right firstly uh, send request uh, request to get a secure section through merchant then uh, after that right section and merchant of encryption is negotiated then secure <coughs> then the system will grant the secure sections after that they will exchange certificate exchange identical identity of both party established so they have certain Certificates, for example, client certificate and merchant certificate, then they are sent through uh, with uh, digital envelopes. So, client generate section key and use server public key to generate digital envelopes sent to the server. Server decrypt using private key and the encryption encrypted transmission using client generated section key. Begin. And besides that, we also can use uh, some of the hardware uh, to enhance the security for e-commerce system so we can protect the network so first thing we can uh, apply hardware or software uh, with using firewalls hardware or software that using security policy to filter packet for example by using packet filter application gateway or maybe we can guess next generation firewall second we can go through proxy server so a software server that handle all communication from from or sent to the internet so we can using uh, the other hardware devices like in intrusions detect system detection system or intru intrusion prevention system so uh, this is uh, how it look like 
So uh, in order to protect the internet communications, right, so the next layer should be a firewall and go through the web server and finally reach the remote side of client. So, uh, so this is the first technique by using firewall. On the second diagram, they're using proxy server, right? So the first must be a client. Maybe they are sent through PC, laptops, or something handheld devices such as a smartphone. So the they have to go through the internal networks through proxy server. Then uh, once uh, the request uh, is passed through the proxy server, right, it will transmit the data through internet and finally reach remote uh, remote server. So the four techniques are used to protect the server and clients. So uh, firstly, uh, must be uh, operating system security so enhanced. So uh, maybe user have to, I mean from time being, right, user have to update the software from time to time and sometimes a uh, user also is advised to, to patch the system to enhance the security so that uh, no hackers uh, will be hacked through the security uh, security vulnerabilities or something open port opened up by the system and the next method right uh, to enhance the security of course uh, user have to install some uh, antivirus software it's the easiest and least expensive way to prevent threats from the system integrity. However, right, it's also required to list update. Hmm. So, uh, so there are four techniques uh, used to uh, enhance the internet security environment. So, the next uh, chapter, right, is uh, about the e-payment system. So, uh, in United States. Credit card and debit cards are primary online payments method. So, uh, because uh, we have to think, others country also have different system. So, um, they but also they have certain uh, limitations by using credit card. For example, security, merchant risk, and cost, and the social equity. So, this is a few things that we have to concern uh, while using credit card. So, um, this diagram will illustrate how online credit uh, transfer works firstly uh, first consumer make purchase then once the instruction is being sent right so SSL or TOS provides secure connection through internet to the merchant server so when the I mean the order is sending to the merchants so the merchant software contact clearing housing for example clearing housing so clearing housing Verify accounts and balance with issuing bank, then uh, is connected to the consumer card issue bank. Uh. So the next one issue bank's credit merchant account and uh, money statement issue with debit for purchasing. So uh, we also have some alternative online payment system, for example, online store value system based on value stored in consumer banks check or checking or credit card amount for example paypal and uh, we also have some others alternative for example amazon payment visa checkout view me latest wu pay do la strip so there are also some digital cash and virtual currency used to conduct in the e commerce payment system for example digital cash based on algorithm that generates unique token that can be used in the real world for example uh, bitcoin uh, second one virtual currency is circulated with internal virtual world for example instant dollar in second life facebook credit typically used for purchasing virtual goods and uh, lastly uh, they are, this is one of the method uh, uh, in e-commerce payment system for example electronic billing presentment and payment for example online payment system for money bills over 50% of all bill payments to competing EBP business model biller direct dominant model or consolidated both model 
are supported by e BPP infrastructures provider. And uh, lastly, I would like to make a conclusion about this topic. It's about the e-commerce, security, environments, and payments. So uh, make sure that in order to have a successful transactions in a secure environment, right, users have to consider they have to get a server, a server, Firstly, is server, which is uh, always uh, patch up with the latest update and certain security pages so that it will enhance the security. Secondly, in order to control the traffic, uh, to avoid some spoofing, crowding, so user is advised to have certain hardware like IDS, IPS, so that, or something proxy server, so that it helps, it helps to figure out some of the uh, I mean illegal traffic and uh, finally so I, uh, in order to successful to make a transactions user is advisable to have certain uh, electronic payment system so that uh, the transactions maybe can be in a uh, richest money richest currencies or linked with credit cards mm, that is uh, from my presentation thank you